fascinating how I keep getting younger in the photos. <laughs> Hi, everybody. First of all, uh, if we could all please, it would make me feel better if you could contact your closest companion, tell them that you love them, make sure that they're okay, because I'm sure that you haven't done that in the last 10 seconds. Do it now, please, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe you misunderstood. Not the human next to you, but your phone. <laughs> oh, we love our phone. Kiss your phone. We love our phones. We do everything with our phones. By the way, uh, I've done a lot with my phone, too. In fact, I've uh, shot three half-hour televised specials in a top five television market using only my phone. Uh, and uh, people ask me uh, how I do it. And I say, with insecurity. Uh, I've won 22 Emmy Awards over five regions, and yet every day, no matter where I work, whether it be Channel 2 uh, CBS in Los Angeles or Channel 8 in Dallas, Texas, it seems like every day of the past 25 years of my career, I've felt like I've had to prove my worth every day with my work, and so I take on challenges. And an interesting challenge came my way when my boss at Channel 8 in Dallas came up to me and said, hey, could you go shoot a two-minute story on your iPhone and we'll air it on the evening news? And, you know, she knew that I was up for the challenge because two years previous to that, I tried to do the same two-minute type of story using this. Anybody remember it? Yeah, the flip camera, $140 now on sale at eBay for $22.50. I'm in the running for one, too, this week, so hopefully, cross fingers, I get it. Um, so she knew I was up for the challenge. So I literally cobbled some gear together using Velcro, and I went out to interview a world-renowned artist who was in town. And this gentleman knew that the big Channel 8 was on their way to do a feature story on them. And when I got there, we started chatting, and then uh, in a little bit, the gentleman said, are we waiting on your camera person, or lights, or a sound guy, or anything like that? And I said, no, you know what, tonight I'm just going to do it with my phone. He was visibly underwhelmed. <laughs> I said, don't worry about it, we'll, we'll take care of it, just let's, let's do it, see what happens. So we did, it worked out all right, and after the evening news, he called me and he said, Okay, I get it. And so me taking things to the extreme like I always do, I thought, well, if I could do two minutes, maybe I could do an entire half-hour episode using only my phone. And not only do a half-hour episode, but make it award-winning. And so I came up with this. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Who is this? Well, who's this? I'm putting you on speaker. The telephone. No one uses it to just chat anymore. Well, we're chatting now. It records our lives. Take a picture with your telephone. Well, where's the picture on this one? Send it to me. Post it. I'm waiting. In fact, you can use the phone to document the human condition. So, for the next half hour, excluding commercials, every second of this television show will come from my telephone. Hello? Hey, got you on speaker. Not gonna need you today. What do you mean you're not gonna need me today? I've got my $50,000 Sony HD camera. I've got a Sennheiser mic with noise reduction. I've got LED lights. In our business, photojournalists are the backbone. Brand new GoPro HD4. They document incredible stories. Brand new. What do you mean you're not going to need me? Just not for the next half hour. All of the snapshots from the photo album of the human condition will be recorded on this. You know, from different angles, like here, 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 and here. Yep. Just me and my phone. And on the other end, people like Liz Simmons. So that was the beginning of the first phoning it in half hour episode. Oh, by the way, I, I should say that was the begin beginning of the two-time Emmy Award winning, two-time Edward R. Murrow winning, phoning it in, so I've been phoning it in ever since. And again, people ask me how I do it, so I'm going to tell you. It's with layers of perception. And what I mean by that is, why do we know if a video came from our iPhone? Just yell it out. 
Shaky, I heard it right there. It took you three seconds. Uh, that's exactly right. So what I do is I put it on a tripod. All of a sudden, one layer of perception is taken care of. Uh, and then I outfit it with incredible state-of-the-art equipment. Um, and in this case, one that not even a motor uh, can take care of. It's the steadiest, most subtle cinematic panning that you can do, and it's with this rubber band. I don't know if you could see it from there, but it is moving right there. And by the way, the cost of that, pretty good. <laughs> Another layer of perception. Then I wondered, because audio is always difficult with an iPhone, and I'm an audio freakazoid, uh, I thought maybe if I could use the audio equipment that we use in our regular television production and somehow connect it to an iPhone and make it broadcast quality, that would be another layer of perception. That's probably the most expensive part of this whole rig where the iPhone sits right here is a wireless microphone. But it's another layer of perception. Now this next layer of perception, I haven't been able to find in a store. It's all about storytelling. Just tell me a story. It's all any of us want. If you can do that, and I've been doing it for a long time, so I hope that I'm pretty good at it, you're 99% of the way there because technology will change. Storytelling never will. Sort of like this. The 10 a.m. oil painting class at Brookhaven College is three hours long. Sitting is a good option. I do a lot of boasting. But not for one student. <laughs> In pretty good shape. Summer Weinstein. This, this is about 70 years old. Uses a tube of yellow that's yep. older than any of his classmates. We can't have excuses for not being able to paint very well because he is just unbelievable. Sumner is 97 years old. That's my masterpiece. And he paints like this. Oh, and he also hand carved the frame, too. <laughs> if you don't think he does his homework. Last count, I had 400 framed pictures. Just look inside his home. My son-in-law says, put them on the ceiling. <laughs> Just past the Purple Heart. For when I got wounded in the Battle of the Bulge. Every Tuesday, he waits for his ride, gathers his canvases, brushes, and paints, and heads to college. And he'll do that. Well, as long as I last. <laughs> spend a morning on campus with Sumner. Good morning. And if you could get him to stop. Yeah. Photograph me from Channel 8. Ask him about his philosophy. So beautiful, I love that, okay? I never had a lit cigarette in my mouth. Between each detailed stroke. If we go out, I might have a beer or something. Listen to him paint a picture of what life's about. So you gotta find something to occupy your mind. And that's what I do right, a lot. We sometimes might feel that we missed out on college that we're too old for that. Except me. That life is passing us by. Just imagine trying to think that way after meeting Sumner. I Castellucci, Channel 8 News. Uh, any college student out there like Sumner, 98 years old? No, he's special. Uh, I love Sumner. And that's what inspires me most about shooting with an iPhone. It's that sort of one day relationship that you get with your subject. And in the case of Sumner and, and all of my subjects, they seem to be saying to themselves, what harm could he do? He just has his life. Uh, and so it's special. Another inspiration, uh, inspiring part of this whole thing is that you can do it. You can leave right now. Let's wait until after the event. And you can go create with something as common as a ballpoint pen your phone, it's with you all, all the time. And, you know, people call me a pioneer of phonography, but now you know maybe a more appropriate title would be a pioneer of phonography uh, with a little insecurity. But you know, insecurity turns into opportunity. So I challenge you all to look at your iPhone, the love of your life, through a different lens. Thank you.